Greetings, my family in Christ. I hope you're doing well today. I think this is a lark spur. I'm not positive, but that's what it came up as. And I'm surprised it's not been eaten by a deer or wind knocked it over or something like that. And today we're going to talk about love and money. But I have something else I want to talk about that just finally occurred to me after all the years of pondering why in the New Test in Old Testament God eradicated whole places of people, including the children, everybody, just wiped out. Well, after weeding and trying to trace every bit of root so that I wouldn't have this problem again for briars, I hate briars. I've been having to chase down briars for years and they're out in the field where they, they have been a big problem and I have tried to eradicate them every year thinking I got them. But this year it occurred to me if I don't get every piece of root, I'm going to have this same issue over and over again. So maybe I'm not saying I know, but just maybe God knew unless he took care of every bit of the problem, the children were being taught the same things. It just had to be eradicated, wiped out, just out of here, or else it was just going to be a problem over and over again. And that is the same way with life in love and money the things we chase love and money they may look good not all weeds are briars which we know that is not good some weeds def defy us oh they're kind of pretty let's see what this is and before you know it this is a kind of weed that will grow up and choke out the good thing that you wanted to grow and I know what I'm talking about because I battle the Japanese stilt grass all the time. And it's a pretty little grass. But boy, if you do not get rid of it, it will choke out everything in a flash. So, in love or money, we can't be fooled. We have to be vigilant about what is honorable and truthful and for God, for the good things, the good news, not just for themselves. And they will look, they will look good. They can make themselves look good. And we can like them for a while. But then we start feeling something inside telling us, this isn't truth. This isn't what I believe. And if I don't distance myself, I'm going to be taken over. And I'm not even going to be the same person that I was. I'm going to be transformed because this weed, this person, is overshadowing me and I am no longer who I used to be. I'm transforming into something new. So, that's that. I just laid the background, so let me see if I can get through some verses here. Romans 13, 8 through 10. Owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another. If you love your neighbor, you will fulfill the requirements of God's law. For the commandments say, you must not commit adultery. You must not murder. You must not steal. You must not covet. These and other such commandments are summed up in this one commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to others. So love fulfills the requirements of God's law. Perfect, isn't it? Psalms 37, 16. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich. Psalms 37, 21. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. And we will stop right there. But I hope you all have a blessed, wonderful absolutely marvelous day in the Lord and you seek your blessings and thank God for them and we'll see you tomorrow sending all my love my brothers and sisters in Christ